In our next lesson on nitrogen metabolism from Chapter 18, let's look more particularly at that transaminase mechanism. In our previous lesson, we saw that the transaminase reaction is a key mechanism for moving amine groups to synthesize amino acids, and it requires the special cofactor pyridoxal 5' prime phosphate, or PLP. You'll notice from the structures at the top of the slide, it closely resembles pyridoxine or vitamin B6, and hence the name. We next notice that it carries an aldehyde group at the 4' prime position. This aldehyde group is absolutely essential for the chemical mechanism of this enzyme. We also know that there is no aldehyde group on any amino acid side chain, and so all transaminase enzymes have an absolute requirement for this PLP cofactor. Initially, this cofactor is covalently bound to the enzyme via the epsilon amino side chain of a lysine residue. Let's review the general steps of the mechanism. On the upper right, we have our PLP cofactor covalently linked to that side chain of lysine. The first substrate to bind is the amino acid. Remember, we're transferring that amine group from an amino acid to a keto acid, and so our amino acid donor must be this first substrate to bind. As the amino acid binds, we break the bond with that cofactor, and here we have the lysine side chain highlighted in the purple square as now free and separate from that PLP cofactor. The entire amino acid gets added at that aldehyde group, and so now we have our entire amino acid covalently linked to this PLP cofactor. In the next step, we have our ketamine intermediate, which is hydrolyzed to release our first keto acid product, leaving behind only the amine group of our amino acid substrate. You'll notice it is attached to that PLP cofactor. So now we've picked up that amine group we want to transfer. Following our reaction from the bottom of the slide to the top, we see here's our amine bound PLP group, which is referred to as pyridoxamine form. Now our second substrate binds the keto acid, which will be the amine acceptor. We find it also is added to that amine group, the entire keto acid is added. We then hydrolyze that to release our final amino acid product and to regenerate the PLP bound form of the enzyme. In our next video lesson, we want to consider nitrogen metabolism and put that into a larger context of cellular metabolism. We also want to get a brief overview of amino acid synthesis.